Perfect. So, firstly, just how are you feeling? Obviously, you're getting back into the swing of things now. Just how are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Um, obviously, disappointing to be to be injured and miss any part of the season. You know, I really enjoyed my season last year because I was you know, managed to play most of the games. And um, yeah, to not have my ankle sorted over the summer was, you know, it was frustrating more than anything because all the signs were that we didn't need um, any intervention, and in the end we did. So, uh, but it's behind me now, and I'm feeling great and just looking forward to try and help the team in any way I can. And just looking away from the physical side of it, just the mental side of, you know, having to go through that and go through pre-season and then not be ready. And just how's that been? Yeah, it's it's tricky when you're in the moment, but obviously we've got got a really good group of lads in in the dressing room. Everyone kept my, you know, my spirits up. I'm quite a positive person anyway, so I was, you know, trying to work hard and you know knowing that eventually you you get the chance to go back on the grass and just make sure my body was ready to take, you know, the, the demands the gaffer puts on us. And it's first your two starts in a row now in the league. So just how have you found that? Yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, obviously enjoyed um, Saturday more than the week before. Obviously, always do when you win a game. So um, yeah, great to be back involved and um, you know hopefully can can stay fit and available for the manager to pick me when when he chooses. Yeah, how much has gone into your recovery process of not being involved and then getting back? Yeah, a lot of work in the gym with the physios and. Um, Chris Worley and just making sure that we, we took the time that we needed from the surgeon but also pushing when we could and yeah I feel really good I've you know done a lot of running on my own which is you know it's, it's not as hard as pre-season because the gaffer's pre-season let me tell you is very hard but it's um, it's very hard doing it on your own and, and doing them same runs but without the support of you know the lads doing it with you it, it, it's, it's tough but you know the end goal is to be a, to play football and be available as much as I can and you know, I'm just happy to be back available. And is there any frustration on your behalf because you, you see people out there, you see them training, you see them playing games and you just obviously just wish you were there? Yeah, I wouldn't say frustrated. It's more, you know, you've got a burning urge inside you to, you know, you know, from a kid, I've wanted, all I wanted to do is play football and when that gets t- kind of taken away from you, it's hard to, you know, be in the gym and doing your, your weights and watching the lads run around and getting a sweat on and kicking the balls, that's the main thing, you know. Um, it was a little bit easier watching them in pre-season when they were running in the in the heat of Spain, but uh, yeah, no, it's just great to be back and um, you know hopefully touch wood I can and stay fit this season. Yeah, how have you found it since you've been back? How are you feeling like physically? Is, is it taking a toll still? Oh yeah, it's it's, it's it's my ankle feels really good, but um, you know it's hard, you know cat, catching up, getting back up to speed. But um, you know, I did a lot of work in the gym, a lot of work back out on the grass before I became available to the manager, and you know I feel like it's paying off. And obviously these are competitive games, but is this kind of like your mini pre-season, just get yourself back up to full fitness? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I don't think you get there. <laughs> don't, you, don't, you don't get that, that luxury, unfortunately. No, look, I've, you know, I'm lucky enough to be experienced. I've played, you know, played quite a few games in my career. And, um, you know, once the competitive game starts, there's no saying, oh, it's all right. He's only back for two games. You judge from the minute the, the whistle goes. And... Um, you know, as I said, I've tried to work hard in training. Um, tried to work hard while I was out injured, and you know, obviously, when the, if the manager is watching when he's watching the game, if he sees that I'm looking tired, you know, we've, thankfully this season we've got a lot of strength in depth, and he'll take me off if he feels I'm not doing it, and it's, that's the best way to be. And you know, I try and from the minute go put all myself out there and, and last as long as I can. And there was a lot of praise for you when you weren't playing from the players when we spoke to them and from the manager, just about your attitude around the place, even when you weren't involved, just keeping everyone's spirits up as well as yourself. Yeah, I'd always try and be positive, you know. I think how lucky are we to get to do this, you know. A lot of young people dream of being a footballer. Um, we're living that kind of dream. It's cliche, it's cheesy a little bit, but it's true, you know, it's a it's an amazing job to, to have and I'd enjoy coming into work every day, you know, it's it's not nice when you lose, of course, but you can't kind of change the past, you've got to kind of look forward and, you know, I feel like being negative and moping around the place doesn't tend to get make things any better, you know, if you can come in with a smile on your face and even if you cheer one person up, it's a, it's a you know, a good day. And we've heard how you've helped them, so how have they helped you while you've been coming back? Just a lot, really, a lot of banter. Um, you know, I had a lot of Mickey taken out of me from the lads, from the gaffer when I was sat on the bike and saying I'm practicing for the Tour de France. I don't look like a footballer, I look like a cyclist <laughs> and stuff. But it's it's all good and it, it keeps you going and you know it makes you feel part of still part of the group when you when you're not you know out there training. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.